My mother has always told me, the world is not here to serve you. You're here to make the world a better place that you found it. This role working with cutting edge cancer research was just perfect. Adriana is a biochemist. She's uh, working on a cure for cancer. Her real passion is social justice. And she's really just the best person I've ever met. I grew up in Bogota. I come from on my mother's side family, a very intellectual and logical and scientific oriented people. I was always interested in science ever since she was a little girl. She discovered that a library is a thing and I can just go in there and get any book I want and just read it. The light went on in her eyes and it never went out. I remember the one lesson that we were going over in my ninth grade science class, which was on protein synthesis. And I just found it fascinating because it was the building blocks of life. Think of it as Legos. You just have all these pieces and depending on how you put them together, it's how life begins. That to me was just mind blowing. And from that lesson on, I was locked into um, science. When we moved to the States, he was healthy. He was hospitalized at least twice um, because he had like a terrible stomach pain and wouldn't go away. And it was cancer and it was colon cancer stage three. It was scary, but you know, I was in the world of science. So I was like, well, it's curable. It's not a death sentence. And you know, there's chemo and all of that. I spent a lot of time in the public library researching about it. And I also looked at clinical trials. Like I was on top of all of these things, trying to see what could work. And obviously I did not like a lot of the things that I read. He held on as, as much as he could. It was very hard for me to accept that that was the course of, of, his, um, of the disease. When I went back to school after he died, I shifted and I decided to join uh, as an undergrad in a pathology lab related to human disease. My title is Senior Research Associate. We are looking at the biology specifically of the CAR T cells. The whole idea of turning back on the immune system, which is one of the first mechanisms to fight cancer, it's ingenious because it involves less chemicals or outside agents, so it's like your own body. To me, it's, it's, it's gonna change the world or it's gonna change how we treat cancer. So I'm in that early research part where the idea, the innovation, the spark of doing things outside the box, having ideas. It's 20 years since my father passed away. The way I see cancer research, how far it's come, it was because of people like me that were in the lab, that were working, that were thinking outside the box. The ultimate goal will impact real patients and real people. Science is my north. Life around me can be chaotic, but the one thing I can count on, if I could just put my mind to it and focus, was my job and, and the science. It's facts, it's truth, it's the north, it's what I need. Science works because it's reproducible. Science works because it follows a methodology. It's a little bit like following a recipe to the T, and that's the rigor that you need to use. Just like in any field, you need that diversity or the difference that women can bring to the table. There's a proverb that says women hold half the sky. Women in science, they're gonna bring a different flavor to the table and ideas, and I think that's why it's very important for women to advance and continue in science because that's how you bring progress.